to the St. Margaret Mary Catholic community on this solemnity of all saints, and please stand. begin this celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we come together to celebrate the Feast of All Saints, let us remind ourselves, my dear friends, that these men and women who became holy, they were like any one of us. They made through this life and showed us the greatest example. As we come together to celebrate their feast, let us also remind, let us also ask ourselves, why did I be a saint with them? And for the times we failed to become a saint, let us ask forgiveness and pray for the more grace that we will be counted in the company of saints. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory, glory to God, God in, in the, the highest. highest. And on earth peace, on earth peace, to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth peace, to people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to 
glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, on earth peace to people of goodwill. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, by your gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints. Bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors and an abundance of the reconciliation with you for which we earnestly long. Through the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels, who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who'd been marked with the seal, 144,000 marked from every tribe of the Israelites. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne, and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne, and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshipped God, and exclaimed, Amen! Blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders who spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord.
heart longs to see your face. Oh God, this is the people that longs to see your face. Oh God, this is the people that longs to see your face. Oh God, this is the people that longs to see your face. All the earth is yours, O oh God, the world and those who dwell on it. You have founded it upon the seas and established it upon the A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do not know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure, as he is pure. The word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. 
When Jesus saw the crowd, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. As I was reflecting to prepare this very short homily, not long homily, and it came to my mind, and years ago when I was in seminary, my spiritual director, the priest, who was a Salation priest from Italy, and he lived with us for many, many years. He came to India during the World War II time, and then he, he could not get back to Italy and stayed, and he was a professor and a teacher and a rector of the seminary. Anyway, the long story. When one time, and um, he was preaching to us at the feast of St. Teresa of Little Flower, that is October 1st, and, uh, and he usually was known for giving a short homily, unlike me. So he said, you know, this woman whose festival will be celebrated was a saint, and she lived in this world only 26 years. And you guys are, um, and uh, you guys are same age, but he, she made it as a saint when she was 26. And what is your excuse? So that's what he said. He was the one. We, I made it longer way. So he made said, she was 26 and she made it a saint. What is your excuse? So now the same question. I'm going to ask you to the same thing. All of us, you and me. These men and women whose feast we celebrate All Saints Day, they lived like one of us. They were, they, are, they were family people, they are religious people. They lived and they were born like any one of us. They got the same struggle. They had similar life and similar hardship. And some of them went through persecution. And some of them had a tough time. But they thrived and survived with all those difficulties in their spiritual life. And they made it as a saints. Now, what is your excuse? What is my excuse? Amen. The saints we celebrate today, they lived a normal life and they gave us the greatest, greatest uh, model to follow. And Jesus led them. And now they intercede for us in heaven 
So let us submit our prayers. That the church might find strength in the witness of the women and men who have lived for Christ throughout the ages, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That leaders might embody the Beatitudes, bringing about the reversal of strength and power that comes from God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who feel isolated from friends, family, and community might find comfort through the outreach of others and the peace of Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all gathered here might respond to our universal call to holiness, following the examples of the saints who have gone before us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer illness and for all those who have died, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, you guided these wonderful men and women in your way. Give us a similar strength and the wisdom and the knowledge and the courage to imitate them, to come to your kingdom with that same holiness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Saint Michael, pray for all. Saint Timothy, pray for all. Saint Elizabeth, pray for all. Holy Mary, pray for all. Oh, Diego, pray for all. Catherine Drexel, pray for all. Saint Francis, pray for all. Saint Lucy, pray for all. Ora pro Saint Nicholas, pray for all. Saint Cecilia, pray for all. Saint Joseph, pray for all. Saint Gabriel, pray for all. Oh,
Pray, my friends, the sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O God, and grant that, just as we believe in saints, be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concerns for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, <coughs> Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of your, our brothers and sisters already give you eternal praise. Towards her, we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, Rejoicing the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the church, through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with a multitude of saints and angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly in his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, and when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, this bread of life this chalice of salvation, giving thanks that the held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis or Pope, Bernard or Bishop, and all the clergy, and all of us gather here 
before this altar today. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all have died in your mercy, especially those people whom we remember now. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints whose festival we celebrate today, and all who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Now let us pray with the confidence of Heavenly Father and the words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, God be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace and love. Behold Jesus Christ, who comes to us today to give us the greatest strength to execute our spiritual life without any excuses. Happy are called to his banquet. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only, only say the word and my soul shall heal. May the body and blood of Christ bring us life everlasting.
Blessed are they who are poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of God. Bless us, O Lord, make us poor in spirit, bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world, may our light shine before all, that they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. Blessed are they who are meek and humble, they will inherit the earth. Bless us, O Lord, make us meek and humble. Bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world. May our light shine before all, that they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. Blessed are they who Dead. Bless us, O Lord, when we share their sorrow. Bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world. May our light shine before all, that they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. Bless those who hunger and thirst for justice, they will be satisfied. Bless us, O Lord, hear our cry for justice. Bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world. May our light shine before all, that they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. Blessed are they who show others mercy, they will know mercy too. Bless us, O Lord, hear our cry for mercy. Bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world. May our light shine before all, that they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. Let's pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that, coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And thanks for coming, all of you coming to this. I mean, five minutes before I was looking at the church around. Wow, we are only a few people. So good that the church is almost uh, good, good, good crowd. Thank you very much for coming and celebrating the All Saints Day. Thank you. Have a good evening. <coughs> Jerusalem, my happy home, when shall I with you be? When shall my sorrows have an end? Your joys, when shall I see? 
Your saints are crowned with glory great. They see God face to face. They triumph still, they still rejoice in that most holy place. There David stands with harp in hand as master of the choir. Ten thousand times that we were blessed that might this music hear. Our